Welcome back guys to Castlevania Portrait of Ruin as last episode we took on the Dullahan the boss of the city of Hayes and completed our first portrait heading back into the castle after meeting the weird Loretta to start our exploration anew. Little did we know that after facing the behemoth and travelling onwards we would then bump in to Dracula's right hand man, Death. Well I don't think we're up for battles with Death or Dracula at this point in time. Jonathan. Oh, not the fire lighting imps. I'll take the save point over here. That was a warp. Is there a warp that's strategically placed to a save point by any chance? Because I really need my HP back. And who knows where there might be an actual something here. So let's go to here, get my HP back via save point, and then continue on. This is back to Mr. Well, the technically this is the best warp point when you think about it. So you don't give me new ones. I have to go to the butcher place. Luckily, you keep this behind you, which is very grateful. I'm very grateful for that, at the very least. <laughs> Death is in league with the tax evaders. What? Dracula in this castle? Not paying taxes? You're kidding. I do wonder how to get the supersonic punch from the... Uh... I don't have any meat to grind. Will it show me, like, a quest location on the map, maybe? Doesn't look like it. So that's my question for me, would be... What counts as the butchers? I mean, there's so many places you could go to. Do I remember anything being very specifically a butcher's place? There's many bakers. Probably a few candlestick makers. I don't know. Right, this is the bakers. Just get you out of my way. Another bakers. Yeah, you're going to get me both ways, I know. I want to go past you. Well, we got Paella, I guess. For, uh, for some reason, I thought it was a title belt. I got you, dude. So is the butcher somewhere near the start? Wasn't my butchers the bosses I faced? Yes. Not quite what I mean. They did butcher me a fair bit, yes. Technically, I should have only come back here once I'd got whatever I could do to get through that, that gap. It's all bakers! Is there a single butchers in town? It's like going to any modern town nowadays. There's never any shops that you actually want to go to. They've all got extinct. Also, why does this town just need bakers? By the... By the dozen? The bakers dozen? I'll let myself out. Well, couldn't find a butcher's. Unless this is the butchers, but to be honest, oh, this looks more cheesy. To be honest, it's got blood around it. Oh, we got some skeleton for going here. That's not too bad then. I'll take that, I guess. So this is the cheesery. Definitely not the butchers, though. This one's a bit more of a general store. So they all have different shops designs, then. Ah! 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 The butchers! How do you want me to grind this meat? 
Okay. I'm confused as to how I might be able to grind on it though. That didn't work. Seems I only physical hits them. Do I have a specific weapon that can grind? Oh god, do I have to use punching? Like super seriously. Oh, you kidding me? Of course, it's for supersonic punch. So of course I gotta punch the meat. Well, that's a weird technique to learn. I guess I'll take it. That moment when you're expecting it to be a quest within the area, rather than... I was expecting it to have something to it more different than that, but it's actually using the actual inherent game systems to do a thing. That's kind of cool. I I didn't like that. I, I actually appreciate that. Hey, if it works, it works. Now that the game gave you a punching weapon to give you a clue, it wasn't that. The clue it in me is the fact that it's called supersonic punch. That's what it means. However, if I'm punching some meat, I'm not like Rocky. I'd break my hands before I managed to mince any meat. Well done. So weapon's all yours now. We got the bullet punch received. Now, is the bullet punch any good? No, but it also throws punches at the speed of sound. I think I could do it faster than him. Yeah. I'm sure you could hear on the mic the whoosh as my hands sped past, right? It's definitely what was going on there. All right, well, let's get back on the beaten track that we were going. Am I Sizor? Look, guys, you can't go naming clips about that beat the meat. That's just, that's just wrong. That's as wrong as the slime's design. Off we go, then, to the other side of the hallway as we explore more of Dracula's abode with death is waiting. I don't really want to fight death, to be perfectly honest with you. I'd rather not. I like how there's actually a fair bit of switching between characters. There's a girl there. Nope. I don't believe that you love me if that's what you're going to say, Persephone. I believe you're a Greek goddess of dead now. I'm gonna fall for your tricks. No! Oh, she's got a hoover! She tried to suck me! Why does everyone try to do that? Well, we got a frilly camisole from killing one. I'll take the fancy new clothes. Ooh, 19 defense, 25 mine. Definitely enemy drops are coming thick and fast, and they're way better than anything we can pick up normally by the look of it. So this is the blocked off route back, which we could not deal with. Can we push it from this side, maybe? <laughs> no. Simply no pushing that. We are not strong enough. And no way to pass up through here. Look, she's karate posing. She's martial arts posing. She was ready for a fight, she was, Persephone. Seems like I can actually one-shot these now. 
I'll show you as the better power of wind. My wife. Off we go. Oh, right in the head. Oh, don't suck up my blamange. My pudding bucket. That Hoover distinctly has teeth on the end. How many more of these ladies are there going to be? My question is, how many ladies do you need to clean one hallway? If it's a straight 2D hallway, surely only one. Gale Force, by the way. Well, I'm going to get Don Quixote the book. And then wonder what that's going to actually achieve for me. Why did I get Don Coyote the book? If I use this, by the way, no, it's just one portion of the castle floor plan is written on it. Can't actually use them. But it's not a new a use item. It is a book I've just found. Is it something I can equip? Well, speaking about it, there is actually one free slot for you. You can only equip capes. I'm so confused. Don Coyote the book. Sure. We can get some extra defense on him if we want to, like for a boss or something at this rate. Tons of other things. Oh, Don Coyote. Yeah, of course it would be a, a book for you. The story of a man who fought himself a gallant knight. I forget that that's your weapon thing. Welcome to Don Coyote, people. How fancy does that look? He's gonna go chase some windmills. You wish you had a pudding bucket. So do I. He even makes like a horse go. That's my horse impression. Take Don Cody to the face. Don. Coyote? Coyote? Is he even pronouncing it right? I don't know! The real question is, am I ever pronouncing anything right? Right? Hubble Bubble? I would like you to both to push, but... Oh, I've walked into it. Ah! Hey, go away, the other one. We just want to push it. That's all we want to do. I think. Where to? We want to hit in the face, but it doesn't seem like AI allies really help here. Like it's good to be up here and fight this guy, but I guess that's why you push it there. But all the same, it's kind of like what? Why? Why give me the mechanics to push? So every time you hit him, it forms one of those blobs. Technically, switching for a stronger weapon right now would be way better. It's not even technically, it's just that's how it is. This looks like you hit it to get him to spawn. And now that works really well now. He can't hit me and I can hit him. I don't even use, need to use a potion.
Am I supposed to kill the small slime specifically? Actually, that's a good question. Hmm. Well, nice of you to learn a downwards attack that nearly killed me. I'll use some paella, that'll be fine, won't it? I'm just wondering if I've got to kill the small things to stop them going back into the pot, or just do damage to him. Wondering if it's a mechanic or not now. No, nope, you just gotta kill him. I'm overthinking things incredibly again, aren't I? What stupid? I thought maybe it's a mechanic. You do damage to him, then the small ones come out, and you gotta kill certain amount of small ones. Uh, I'll say one word: visitus. <laughs> and that's where my entire brain is going. I don't know why. Oh god. Well, I can double jump in midair and I don't have to jump off someone's head anymore, which is a good boon, to be honest. We've got a partisan. I'm not sure it's better or not. I mean, it does have some range on, at the very least. So that's not too bad. Ah, we made it. Let's find out what's along here, because there's a dead end path down this way. Okay, it's pretty strong. Well, we got some guys with guns now. Oh, it's about when are you going to fire? Oh, no. I'm not falling all the way down. Screw that. Take the iron leggings first. Major defense up again. So it looks like the only way down is through the things. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, Don Coyote, 22 damage. Gotta like that book. Much power in that book. It's a mimic! We didn't see a single chest and I should have realised that something was out of the... I should have realised that something was out of order. We haven't seen a single chest and then a chest appears and I'm going, Ah, oh, a chest! No! A chest. Ah, oh, my bum got sucked! Bad lady. You were not sucked by bum this time. My ultimate counter is to do a poo and clog it, yeah? Oh, she's doing some fancy kick. Not sure I appreciate this. You need to kind of test your range for that stuff. Well, we found ourselves out. Ah, suck my bum! Ah, my bum! I found a 1.2. Well, we found ourselves our next place. Do we go there or do we go for. No! Suck my bum! I want to find out what the next dead end is. We can walk back there pretty fast after all. I wonder what quest will give me next to do in this place. No bum sucking. Here 
Are you going to shoot me? But I'm going to get you more. Oh, wait a second. You're not dead yet? Let me find out what's up here. <laughs> I tried to double jump it. Failed miserably. He drew two arrows that time. Did that thing's shield just defend it? Okay, I killed it. I didn't want to get hit by it because that's a big sword. That's a pretty big sword. I don't think being hit by it would be a good idea. Can I have that gun? My main problem is hitting you onto me. I'll take the goggles. Oh, hello. Hey, hey. A combination attack from both sides, the axe bomber ability has been gained. And an amethyst corset. So we're getting some goodies from all these guys at this point. So we got the frilly camisole. The amethyst corset trades defense for a lot of her spell power. Which we may not want to do so much. The goggles here up the defense by three. So I'll take that. I'm just a bit worried about that guy. Okay. I say, you should be able to hit me there. It's one big armor, though. Don Coyote! Way to go! Is it more like Don Quixote? Hello. Boost mine temporarily. Mine boost. Hey, there's another chest. I'm sure that's completely real. Can you protect me? I'll nuke that guy. It'll always be a lie. Oh, here Double Jump has her going on a... Like a witch. That's kind of cool. Except the amount of health damage I've been taking lately. Not so cool. No, I don't see anything. There's a bit too many enemies at this point. I want the moth screening out my hair. No! Oh, I hit the other guy at the top, I guess. Well, look, it really worked out. Let's kill him before I even make it to their area. Gale Force is pretty good. I need a save point, which I'm hoping comes up now before we go into Portrait Land. Every time I walk into somewhere like that, I'm praying for it not to be Deathland. Okay, a warp point's not too bad. Don Quixote. Don Quixote? Is that right? Quixote? What the hell? That sounds completely wrong. How are things? He says to another language. Right, there were two quests that we probably could have picked up. There is a room in which many ghosts gather. Defeat the great ghost that appears there. I have not seen the ghosts of the desert because we haven't been to the desert yet. This is your 
But from that, we gotta go defeat 10 heal guards at the stairs. So, where those stairs are, I don't think we've seen a heal guard. But it's nice to have the quest before we go in the area, rather than after. Alright, at this point we must have a fair bit of cash, and apart from that, I've probably got a fair bit of items to sell. Because I'm pretty sure I've been picking up, like, several copper chests, haven't I? And I can definitely sell them. Make a bit more gold on the side. Question is, do I want to go for like one of these new spells, like ice needles, or rock riots, or something like that? There's abilities that I can use as well. The Yagyu Shuriken. Equally, there might be some defensive gear I could probably buy. It would be nice, but... That's more for Charlotte, but Charlotte doesn't take that. She does not wear it. Combat fatigues for no extra strength at all. A lot of the shop ball items don't seem to be that great. Let's buy fancy spell. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I need more fancy spells, don't you know? Alright then, Charlotte. Let's equip you with not Gale Force. We got some skeleton, we got ice fang, we got raging fire, we got ice needle. If I bought it, I may as well use it. I'll take it. Also the fact that you get to summon ahead of time. And they'll just fire in front of you. It's kind of cool. Also good range on them. Multiple attacks. Depends how much damage it does. Where did I walk to? You'd be cautious around anyone with a con boost, would you? The puns are too real. Alright, let's find out what bit here is going to block me off from the rest of the place. Because we know we're going to run up to a roadblock soon enough. Do you know what, in fact... Yeah, let's just go to the desert. Because we know it is, and we've already got the walk there, so we've already skipped a fair bit of the next kind of area to go through. Just going to there would probably be better for us. Ah! It seems that the ice also just... Wax them in the face. So you can hit them like that too. That looks quite damp damaging. Doesn't it seem like Charlotte's the more fun one to play and Jonathan's a bit too normal? I know this music. Harmony of Despair. Sandy Grave. I really need to charge you up to full though. It sounds like I'm slapping them all in the face a lot. Ah, I douse him! Got dead douse sims. Woohoo! Oh, now it's pointing the wrong way. I think because it doesn't go through people, it's not actually that good. Seems Don Coyote has a fire kind of base attack. <laughs> Suck it, Sandworm! So they sunk, never to be seen again.
There are HP max ups, we found out. This is its stomach. It still seems to be beating. We've entered the Sarlacc pit. You could bet I wasn't going to not do that. Suspicious looking thing. Can't throw it, but double jump is good enough for us, isn't it? There's a way up and a way down. We are hitting these red skeletons, but anything is going to kill them? Is this the room where there's lots of ghosts, maybe? That's only one ghost. No one really want to be hit by them in case of curse. That looks horrible. Basically, I just become my own machine gun, don't I? The only problem is they all respawn. I don't get any experience for any kill on them, I don't think. It's nice hearing this music again after such a long time. I don't know why they don't release Harmony of Despair on the Switch. I think that would be a good fit for them as well. Oh, fire. I forgot, you don't really have to fire her. Firing her does nothing. Oh, wait a second, the body becomes a platform? Hmm. That could be good to know in the future. Okay, so there's light bulbs. The fire lasers. Thank you. <laughs> Go away. You're getting me gone. A diamond brooch has been picked up from the laser dodging. So that's a big defense upgrade. They both got equal defense at the moment. Does make me wonder if there's any kind of puzzle there involving these, to be honest. Is this where there's tons of ghosts? I feel there is. So if I defeat lots of them, something else is going to appear. This will be interesting. What's going to try and kill me, I wonder? Well, that was breakable then. Seems they only appear at the top. Or maybe they've just stopped now. Maybe I did something to insult them. This isn't the place. Oh, hello. Okay, so your weapon works off the intellect stat as well, maybe? Or does Don Cody just have some modifier that works really well? That's what I was really looking for. That's interesting to think about. So he only does 5 damage on them, she does 11. 
I'd say Don Curry did seem to do a fair bit of damage to these, to be fair. Just looks like they stopped spawning after a small period of time. Is it because I moved on? Or just killed too many of them? Is there anything like guides wise? Quest, there we go. Assuming which many ghosts gather, defeat the great ghost that appears there. We got 5% of quest completes. But it doesn't seem like it might be this room. Might be another room in the future. Maybe here. I look like a ghost to me. Well, we got a ghost summon now. I need to slap that guy in the face a lot. Well, we'll take Uraeus, whatever that is. Is that a weapon? It looks like a helm. It is. So this is a luck up helm. Lowering strength and con, but keeping the defense quite nicely up. Who might be better on? Defense down by two, luck up by five. I'll go with luck up. To be honest, this enemy drops that I'm getting the good stuff from. So this is not room with the ghost either. There's something in here because it's blooming. Mo oh, not you again! I was about to say, you're not really going to hand up to that. I like the slowdown on my attacks, though. I'm well, not one of these things. But just being able to use it as like a straight up massive damage, it's pretty good, too. Is this a room where many ghosts gather? This seem to be a fair few. I think he's dead, yep. Yeah. Ooh! An MP max up. Yeah, I'll take it. Don't seem to be any more goodies here, however. She's a witch. She's got to have a broom, after all. They followed us from the sewers to Egypt. Well, you know, you can do what it wishes, I guess. I can't make myself smaller to get up there. Okay, that hurts a ton. And I can make it. At the expense of my magic for having him behind me. I know you're a lie. I messed that up. Not following me this time. All chests are lies. Do not believe. The lies of these chest pedal. Not the flea men. Now I need your help. Oh, lovely curse balls are in here as well. The best thing is that some of them went below, behind us, which is not really helping. Oh, Castlevania. It doesn't let up, does it? Yeah. 
2,000 in cash? I'll take that, however. Ow. Didn't mean to get hit then. Oh, I can make it up. Combination of jumps is all I need. This should fire through and take out a fair few of our enemies. Except the red skeleton is going to come back soon. Alright, a thousand blades. Attack with a hail of knives. Also a fair bit of cash from Mummy Head there. And that brings this area to a dead end point. Man, we got a ton of these things now. So let's change Rush to a thousand blades maybe. get through these areas safely is a chore in itself. Well, time to go up. Ice Needle. I wonder how many portraits there are. How many wills there are. Always a question, isn't it? Well, yeah. Of course you're going to fall on me. Right, so this links us back up to where we were at the start. Wait, whack him! And you barely any damage! Ow! There's something cool up there. Well, never summon ghost. Oh, I messed this up a little bit. It's, it's pointing the wrong way. Right, clear sky. Defense spell that neutralizes ranged attacks. That sounds kind of cool. I say the main problem with that factoid, as we get another 2k. So I can only have one spell on. It's a bit of a wrinkle. I wonder how much damage you take from being hit by one of them. So that's looped us all the way round by the look of it. I really need a save point. I want my HP back for free. And then which is the ghost room? I'm guessing we just simply haven't found it yet. Save room please? No! No! Ho ho! I'd be surprised to find you inside of my painting. Must be Brawner. How dare you show my father some respect? Calm yourself, Stella. What could they possibly know about respect? They're just humans, after all. Indeed, I'm Brawner, master of this castle. You're trying to revive Dracula? What the hell are you up to? Hm. Dracula, you say? Sister? Watching these fools get worked up can be so entertaining. It seems you have no intention of reviving Dracula. Why is it necessary to revive Lord Dracula? In the last few centuries, he's failed at controlling humanity. I will wait no longer. For the sake of my beloved daughters, I will take this world from mankind. Humans bring death and ruin to everything of beauty. You're not after Dracula. Why is the castle being resurrected? Lord Dracula's power is great. I recognize that. And through this castle, that power will allow the world to be reborn. You only want to use Dracula's power? 
It should be possible to separate Dracula from his magic. Oh, but it is. What a clever young lady. So long as I possess the power of the painting, I'll have no trouble at all. Father, you need not waste your time on such insolent pests. What did you say? Yes, allow me to demonstrate how utterly pathetic they are. Oh, no need to be hasty, dear. At the moment, Dracula's faithful servant is sniffing around my castle. Disposing of him is our first priority. The father? You two have nothing to worry about. Please, retire to a safe place and get some rest. You heard me. We can dispose of this trash at any time. Brawner, huh? He has incredible power. Just the sight of him could drive an ordinary person mad. Yep, it would have been messy. If only I could use the whip. Look, at least we're alive. Yeah, but I'll make him regret ever crossing paths with us. I'm glad I didn't lead into a battle. 